Hello everyone, it's still week two of cooking camp, and today we will be making spaghetti squash and meat sauce. Plus, we'll also be learning about kitchen safety. Wait, before we get started, we have our review questions. Hey guys, it's Miss Livermore or Tara and Miss Harrington or Katie. And our friend here, Layla, who's also my daughter, will also be helping us out because we're gonna be asking Katie some questions today to see if she has paid attention to kids' cooking camp. How do you properly hold a knife when you're cutting? I think I hold a knife like this when I'm cutting. Well, you're close, <laughs> but one thing you need to do is make sure that you pinch the end of it to keep your fingers out of the way. Like this? Yes, so we'll see you got a I have some kitchen tools here. You have to tell me what they do. Are you hey, ready? Yes, I'm an expert at this. <laughs> What does this do and what's it called? It's called a grater? Yes. Okay, grater. And you can do, you can grate or slice up like cheese or other vegetables to create smaller pieces. Oh, these I know. These are measuring spoons. And you use these to get the correct amount of whatever you're wanting to make in your recipe. It's a colander. What's it do? Um, it like helps separate liquid from things. So like if you're making spaghetti, you could put this pasta in here. When it's all cooked and you can get the water out. You got it. We're gonna talk about kitchen safety. We're gonna talk about the stove and oven. Make sure the stove and oven are clear. Because we don't wanna start a fire or get burned. The dish towel should not be on top of the stove or hang on the handle. Make sure only metal pots or pans go on the stove with the handle facing to the side of the burner, not facing out. Use the oven mitts to safely get food in or out of the oven. Now we'll talk about the microwave. Do not put metal in the microwave. Metal can spark and make a fire. Use an oven mint if the food is hot and let the food cool down before touching it or eating it. It's time for spaghetti squash. So we're gonna cut this uh, spaghetti squash in half. Scooping the seeds out. We're gonna put this flat side down with a little bit of water. Today we've decided that we're gonna do a little savory instead of our warming spices of like cinnamon and nutmeg stuff like that this we're gonna go kind of an Italian because we're doing spaghetti squash so we're gonna use Italian style spices you know use your imagination uh, if you like it sweet, uh, go brown sugar is awesome. But in this case, we're gonna make this like a nice, healthy, fun uh, spaghetti style dish. Mm -hmm. 